How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So, interesting topic that I want to bring up and get your mind thinking about things, possibilities. Before we get into this, I'm going to do a disclaimer to YouTube. Don't worry, this is all hypothetical and we're just talking. So, talking's cool, right? All right. So, mainly everybody wants to focus on a lot of the wrong things and that would be potentially these things or all the stuff on it or to make you more capable with certain items as in gear and other things you know i have the new acog i have the new pack you know i got a helmet i got night vision i can see at night more than probably my adversaries will but it comes down to do you have a pack is that pack filled with food and water or sustainment items? Because if we are going down this minute man road or preparedness individual or, you know, to help fight potential tyranny that could be on the horizon or whatever it is, hypothetical, don't worry. Do you have the proper gear to even implement these tools if those situations occur further away from your resources or away from your fob or your establishment right if your mindset is hey i can operate in all directions 30 minutes of walking in all directions that's what i'm going to secure that's what i care about but there's uh, potentially an adversarial camp an hour and a half out two hours out I can bet that they will be operating more than two hours. They will be operating probably days in all directions because they understand the mindset of military movement or battlefield tactics. Now, of course, you have a home or an establishment to defend, and that's what you're going to do. But you may need to bring your items to them outside of your own turf. Do you have the gear and the food and water and water procurement available to do so? Can you leave that bubble of yours and go conduct an L-shaped ambush further out? Can you get there, sleep overnight, change into civilian clothes, right? So you're not in this, so you don't stand out. Then set up your L-shaped ambush because you know you've been, you've been watching them for a few days from your LPOP. Several days means a large amount of food and water observation gear then you change into your clothes go ahead and do what you need to do change out of your military clothing throw them back in your backpack and then eat sleep and drink all the way back home without being saw or maybe on your way back you have to stay for a few days because you get cut off from another group moving in have you planned for that type of food or water or movement is in packs. Most people have a day pack or an assault pack or a three day assault pack, which honestly, if we look at the market and you go right now type in three day assault pack, you look at it, that thing's small. It is not supporting three days worth of assaulting. I can tell you that for a fact. You're gonna need a big ruck or a very large bag that you can break your assault pack away from because you're not gonna fight with your sustainment piece. You need to be able to stash it, which is another reason why I got this bees combat systems ghillie. I can stash this, my sustainment stuff, maybe, you know, 15 minutes out from where I'm actually gonna be fighting. So at our rally point, after we rally up, because it went horribly bad, we thought there was only 15 people out there. Ooh, bummer, there was 50. We're cutting this off. Nope, done. We're, we're turning around. We're not fighting this because we're going to get overran. Then you can come back to your rally point, meet up, grab your gear, and then bail. And then still have food for the rest of the journey home. And then, unfortunately, break it to your friends and coworkers or whoever you're with. Hey, we didn't make it. They had 50 dudes. We only had six. That kind of stuff. Sustainment is key. Especially, most people are in a mindset of themselves, themselves, themselves. I have water purification. I have food. I have this. What if you run with a team of eight? Do you need eight water purifiers or eight sleeping bags? Because realistically, if you're maneuvering and you have eight sleeping bags, it's a lot of weight. Why don't you cut that down to four? Because you're going to have four on security at all times, and then you're going to have four sleeping. Now you just rotate sleeping bags. Yeah, it kind of sucks and it's a bummer. You don't want to think about it, but that's a reality. You could potentially be, what, 20, 30 pounds lighter if you just ditched four sleeping bags? 
maybe, depending on what sleeping bag you're running. All these things of sustainment come into play. A normal military has the backing of sustainment. If we look through history, Rome had sustainment troops purposely in place in military doctrine to assist the frontline warfighter. You will not have that. You will not have that. You are on your own, or maybe your group is supporting you. So you're severely already hindered compared to potential adversaries or large groups of bad guys that are like pillaging from other people. They are grabbing that sustainment and they are building up their resources illegally and immorally. And now you're trying to stay the moral route reasonably. Do you have that prepared? Do you have that mindset to think of? Just think about it. That's the whole purpose of this video is to think about it. Think about it, come up with contingencies and then act on them. That's all I'm saying. So, that's what I want to discuss. There's, if you guys like this kind of stuff, there's PayPal, Patreon, Amazon, affiliate links, all that kind of fun stuff. If you want to support, go ahead and do so. Like, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And we're probably going to be calling this like stump talk or something because I've been sitting on a stump recently and we're just talking and getting our gears working. So I think it's kind of cool. Might as well keep it going. If you like this, definitely hit, give me a comment if you like it. You want me to keep it going. All right, cool. So other than that, hope you all have a great day.